Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is June 7th, 2019, Friday. I'm in Rochester, New York. Um, I'm recording this as an update to my Coping with Schizophrenia vlog entry for YouTube in my vlog uh, channel, which is Living with Schizophrenia, Gary G. Pello dot blogspot.com but anyways um i had to go to the emergency room last night because i had internal bleeding in my stomach and what caused that is i was overusing aspirin um this is the second time this has happened um so i thought i'd make a video to point out that a lot of people are dying from drugs like opioids fentanyl that kind of thing um but people are also dying from over-the-counter medications as well, and aspirin is one of them. Aspirin, when you take it chronically too many times a day, for too many days or months or years, sooner or later your stomach or some part of your internal organs are going to give out and they're going to start bleeding. And that's what I had to go to the emergency room for last night. Um, aspirin is not candy. Um, Tylenol, for that matter, isn't either. Um, Tylenol doesn't cause internal bleeding, but it can damage your liver. Um, so I guess what this video is about is uh, if you take over-the-counter medications, first of all, let your doctor know what you're taking and how much you're taking, um, because I wasn't letting them know. Um, because over-the-counter drugs can be dangerous in higher amounts or even lower amounts. Um, I should have known better. I have a history of internal bleeding in my stomach. Um, I take protonics for acid reflux, so I have a history of gastrointestinal problems, and I should have known better. So, my message that is simply this. Don't give up your life by accident, by taking something that you think is safe just because it's over the counter and not prescription. Aspirin, Tylenol, all of these medications can be poisonous, they can cause internal bleeding, they can cause liver damage, and cause death. That's basically what I'm making this video for, is just simply to say, be careful. Because, um, just because something's over the counter doesn't make it safe or that you can take it in large amounts. Um, and don't take anything, whether you have a psychiatric problem or not, don't take anything over the counter without telling your doctor, your family doctor, your general practitioner, as well as your psychiatrist. If you have a psychiatrist, whoever it is you're seeing to treat your psychiatric problems. Of course, that's a whole other issue, which I'll probably make a video about, but um, having access to an actual psychiatrist isn't always possible. I know that I, in my history, I've gone to see um, nurse practitioners in psychiatry because a doctor with an actual MD wasn't available in a particular, excuse me, in a particular area because it was too rural and I lived in a rural area. And so I was able to get psychiatric treatment from a psychiatric nurse who was also a nurse practitioner and was prescribing my medications. Um, but I'll make another video about that some other time. But back to the subject, um, just be careful what you use um, for headaches, flu, cold, whatever, and ask your doctor before you take too much of anything. Um, you don't want to give up your life for something as stupid as aspirin. So I guess that's all. If anybody has any comments, go ahead and leave them. I don't block people. I don't such of them.